attend your event, you don't really know what you don't know. And that's why I think it's key that you choose a professional caterer. When you're preparing for your catering event, it's important to work with professionals and know that the caterer that you've chosen is knowledgeable in the industry, has years of experience. If you have a point where there's no communication or the communication isn't good with the caterer, just think that it can only get worse throughout the event. While this might be your one event that you do once a year or once in five years, we do it day in and day out. In the event that you do have servers on location, it's important to optimize your servers. The more that we know about the event logistically, the more that we can help you and turn on your event. At Uncle Bob's, our lead server does an overall evaluation of how the, e how the evening went from start to finish. At Uncle Bub's, we're going to ensure that all of our servers are briefed prior to the event. The training is really important. We spend a lot of time making sure that all of our servers are trained accordingly so that they know when they're on site what the expectation is and they know to go above and beyond expectation. Your highest priority is always going to be to protect your guests from football and ailments. To ensure the safety of your event, you need to make sure you have the hot foods hot and the cold foods cold, and make sure you have all the tools available to do that. The best idea is to have a food thermometer at home and, reg and regularly check the food temperature of the food that you're serving your guests. If hot food falls below 145 degrees for no more than two hours, you can put it back into the oven and get it back up to 165 degrees. In general, the best way to hold your cold food by serving is by putting it in a cold bath, a, a cold ice bath. An ice bath would be a pan full of ice in a little bit of water or shaved ice in a little bit of water. And then put your cold food dish right into that bath. That will maintain a cold temperature for you. When we're talking food safety, here at Uncle Bub's, everything is cooked fresh for your event and timed out specifically for that. Whether you are picking up the food or you're going to have it delivered, we always suggest that you pick it up or have it delivered as closest to your serving time as possible. Always keep in mind that your serving time is not always the start time of your event. The advantage of having food delivered is it's going to keep the right temperature for your food and it's going to be ready to serve when it arrives. So if you're going to be picking up, if you decide you want to pick up the food, that's great, but please keep into consideration how you're going to transport it and how you're going to hold it at the proper temperature so it maintains its quality. When you plan an event through Uncle Bub's, we do a lot of coordination to make sure that you're getting fresh food prepared for your event and getting held in the proper devices to bring the food to you. At Uncle Bub's, we're going to follow up prior to your event to ensure that we have the right appropriate pickup time or delivery time for your event to make sure the food is at the best quality possible. We coordinate the routes with our drivers, so we make sure that we have everything fresh and ready to go with the driver able to bring it to you in the optimum amount of time. Be sure to organize your serving line in a proper progression. Plates. Serving utensils. Side dishes. Buns. Entrees. And then condiments. Here's a tip. I always suggest putting your main entree or your proteins at the end of the buffet. So that when your guest plates are full, they're taking an appropriate portion. Especially with the ribs. We're going to look at, for the location of the buffet, how many guests are we going to be serving? Service schedule. Do we need a double-sided buffet? Is it going to be single-sided? Your floor plan. And we always want to make sure that the buffet line flows with the crowd and not against the crowd. Once food cools below 145 degrees, you have two hours to get it below 45 degrees for safe storage. To preserve freshness, store foods in Ziploc bags. And be sure you press all the air out. Your other option is to freeze meats in an airtight Ziploc bag, which can preserve their freshness for up to six months. We always suggest that you pull meats off the bone, for example, chicken and ribs, and that can create a great sandwich. Consider placing your leftovers in portion-sized bags for quick, easy meals. Which makes them easy to thaw and reheat. And be sure to have extra takeout containers for your guests so they can take leftovers home as well. We also provide you with instructions on safe food handling for the leftovers. Tips for making cleanup easier at the end of the night is to always have, we always suggest you have heavy-duty trash bag liners 
bleach wipes. And you want to be able to plan on any kind of disposable that you can recycle. You may even want to consider doing like a heavy duty, environmentally friendly, like disposable plate to simplify the cleanup process. Consider disposable tablecloths, which can easily be discarded. At Uncle Bob's, we're thinking about cleanup before the event even begins. If Uncle Bob's is going to have servers on location at your event and it's going to be at your home, we'll still provide all the stuff needed to do the cleaning, such as your floors, clean off the countertops. We'll provide our own soap and water buckets as well. At Uncle Bob's, we always have a wash bucket, pink soap, and bleach soap for sanitizing. When our servers are going to be on location, our chafing setups are going to be either disposable or stainless steel. So e we'll either throw them away prior to our depart or we'll bring them back to Uncle Bub's with us. We recommend you considering about 50 cents to $1 per guest for your delivery driver. And 20% of the overall food bill for your servers. At Uncle Bub's, we take all the guesswork out of your catering event. For your convenience, Uncle Bob's can always build in gratuities, delivery fees into your pricing. There is no hidden costs in any of the proposals that we send out. When hosting your own event, make sure you have enough refrigeration space. You may want to consider putting together a checklist that covers rental returns and cleanup. Such as garbage cans, such as tables, chairs, tents. Are you going to have any special deliveries? Is there going to be a cake service? Anything that you need to consider when you're planning the event? Rental returns, alcohol, ice, cups, condiments. At Uncle Bub's, we always like to do a follow-up call after your event. To make sure everything was to your satisfaction, from time of delivery, staffing, and food quality. Consider writing an online review. When Uncle Bub's caters an event for you, you're like an extension of our family. At Uncle Bub's, one of the reasons why we always make a personal phone call is because we appreciate your feedback. And through that extension, we appreciate all feedback and referrals that you might have. We're a business because we love people. And if you don't love people, you should not be in this business. At Uncle Bub's, we're very grateful for all the referrals that we can get. And the expression on your guest's face when they're having great food, the compliments you're going to get from your guests saying how great the food was, that's what we love. The food is just fantastic. The service was wonderful. Um, I couldn't have asked for a better catering company. I just, I've gotten, again, like I said, so many compliments on it, and everybody was just very happy. My husband and I still love the food, so we come back every so often. Um, but yeah, nothing but good reviews all around. The Uncle Bub's difference is the food has always been amazing. We've got, you know, all the utensils, all the serving ware, tablecloths. Everything was done through Uncle Bub's directly. So if I had any questions on anything, Marie was able to help me with that. Um, I, we emailed back most of the time because I'm, I work, you know, so, so email was the main form of contact, but she never, there was never a day that didn't go by that she didn't answer any of my questions or help me out on something that I had, you know, a question on. Uncle Bubs and the Uncle Bubs family is the best group that you'll ever work with and hire. Honestly, everybody was so helpful, um, I couldn't have asked for a better company to deal with. It was just fabulous and serious, I'm serious, like I loved it.